Hey. What up, everybody? Hey. It's the Normies. We're here to pop off some trailer reactions, starting with The Witcher, the Witcher, which is an amazing game series. I did not play one or two, but three is literally one of the best video games I've ever played, period. Holy hot And really? they have turned it into... Yeah, it's really I good. can attest Mickey playing long hours on the PC just at the old apartment. Just, and, uh, I'm like, what are you playing? He's like, Witcher 3. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Six hours later, he's like, you still playing that game? Oh wow! <laughs> it's it's really good and it's like really well written. Like even small side quests have like really really good storylines to it. Hmm. And now they've turned it into a live action Netflix series starring Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia. And I am excited. Superman. What? Yeah. yeah. What? 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 When I first heard about this, I was a little judgy McJudgerson about it because I think they <laughs> can't confirm. They, they they announced Henry Cavill right around the same time as like I think the DC mustache con controversy. That wasn't his fault. I know it wasn't his fault, but like I I don't know something gave me I was just like Henry Cavill as Geralt like I. But just, in Mission Impossible, he reloads his biceps. Yeah, well, I, I know. I didn't have you seen Mission biceps. Impossible. Yeah, like he's well, beating up a guy and he's just like. <laughs> Let me finish, let me finish. Why I, was the mustache controversy a bad thing? I thought that was hilarious. Let me finish. Let him finish. God. I, I, but once I heard, like, Henry Cavill is actually, like, an avid Witcher fan. So, like, that that kind of turned everything around for me. And I was like, okay, I think, I think he's going to kill it. Because he's actually coming into this with his own knowledge of the series. So, I think he's going to give, you know, that much better of a performance. So, I'm actually really, really excited about this. How about you guys? I'm pretty hyped for it, but also, since we're talking about a video game TV show, go on over to the gaming channel. We're giving away a PlayStation 4 next week. Look at that. Also, yes. since we're talking about live-action adaptations of video games, there have been no successful ones, so let's see how well this one goes. <laughs> well, this one is a... Uh, also... Usually they're movies. Also, I heard this one is more so adapting the books and not the video game. But it's that. still using Geralt... Uh, for uh, the main character, because yeah. the books don't necessarily revolve around him. I don't think. Uh, I don't know what much I know. about the books. I was just talking about this oh. last week, and there was a good one. I just can't remember. What I, it was. I took a picture of a cosplayer playing Gerald, and he was yes. fucking legit. Oh, yeah. he, was, he was the best uh, cosplay at Con of Thrones. Oh yeah, like an actor. Where, man? Let's get it. All right, let's uh, do this. Do we? Remember, this is not a mark. It is. <laughs> We're hearing stories about witches. Is it true what they say? Okay. Elves are the original sorcerers of the continent. When humans and monsters arrived, elves took humans out to turn chaos into magic. And then the humans slaughtered them. Chaos <laughs> is the most dangerous thing in this world. But without control. Chaos will kill you. So that's all life is to you. Uh, where's Monsters that second sword? Life. It's all it needs to be. Something out there. Ooh, needs to this child will be extraordinary. Yennefer, imagine the most powerful woman in the world. Do you have what it takes? Hot damn. She looks like it's gonna be tight, man. He looks legit. Ooh. So he's yeah, so he, so he's playing young Geralt, and I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with the Witcher story before three. Really, I didn't play those. But so let me explain what a Witcher is. They're, yeah, I was about to ask that. They're they they're, they're essentially, in a nutshell, like monster hunters. But so so they're neutral to the going ons of the world. So in in Witcher three, there's a war going on, but they're neutral to that. They're like, that's not my fucking problem. But if you have a werewolf that needs killing, I'm your man. But they won't do it for free. 
They will not do it for free. They're good at what they do, but they're 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 monster killers for hire. So Geralt of Rivia is a, a witcher. Geralt of Rivia is a witcher. Geralt. I yes. uh I like the fucking trailer. It looks exciting. The costumes look awesome. The action looks good. I mean, it looks, it looks like, like they lot. put like a lot of money into yeah. it. Like it looks yeah. really yeah. good. So I don't know anything about Witcher aside from it was a video game is a video game so I'm just excited to kind of go into it blind AF and that's and important watch it. guys that's important to get the reactions of those of us that don't have any idea what this is because if this is to be a success it cannot just win over the Witcher 3 audience right? exactly yeah, yeah. It, has to, it has to stand on its own it's a, it's a show and I'm sure a lot of people are because I'm sure a lot of people didn't watch or play the Witcher games so like for the common audience they're probably like what the fuck is this like, yeah, I'm kind of it though. looks dumb Henry looks Cavill really really good. fucking war Game of Thrones well, it's, the, they look like they poured yeah, a lot yeah. of budget into this the production looks and awesome I wonder if CD Projekt Red has anything to do with the production or if they helped out in any way because they've made a ton of money from these games and they're also making Cyberpunk 2077 and I'm really fucking excited about that Shit, so man. I wonder if they're involved in this project at all mm. um, probably not but who knows Pat and Marquette are you guys gonna watch it yeah I think I will. It reminds me of uh, a little bit of like Vikings. It had like the vibe, yeah. mm-hmm. you know. I yeah. mean, it's. I mean, it, there's a little bit of magic in Vikings, but it's more like related to actual history. Mm-hmm. This one is like all the way off the grid. It's pretty. Which fantasy. I like. I mean, I love it's fantasy, fantasy like, so I'm yeah. excited. Oh yeah, they got well, elves and stuff yeah. and magic. And there's in The Witcher, the one video game where and you a fuck big a ass time. spider. Um, living there's in yeah. some fucking. <laughs> that was cool. I want to see some monsters and boss battles because right when The Witcher Three had some sweet ass boss battles. I don't know. Oh yeah, I, mean, I want to see a, yeah. a fantastical, thought out mythical world as thought out as Westeros. Right. Right. And and I so, think that fantasy, Witcher yeah. has potential to be that. And I think that the reason why I brought up the sex thing is because one of the big successes towards Game of Thrones was the sex and violence that was like. That was like the tantalizing yeah, no, element. There will, that, there will be sex. There was the tantalizing element that like kind of got people through the door, and then they're like, "Oh, it's way deeper than that." But, but like with that tantalizing this thing, might need to be PG thirteen to get more audience. Though. Yeah, they might be PG thirteen. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's on Netflix. I don't know. Netflix can go R if they want. But hey, we're excited for it. Are you excited for it? Let us know in the comments. Did you play the game? Did you not play the games? What do you think? Let us know. And while you're down there, hit that like button. It really helps us out a lot. On to the next trailer. See you at the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.